Hi everybody, this is Daniel Chris from Prehistor Facts. This is Prehistor Facts Extra Episode number 42. We're going to be talking about Dinosaurs of Madagascar today. So how this is going to go is that we're actually going to have a little bit of fun today. Is that we're actually going to be uh, going through the geologic times of when these dinosaurs actually uh, were around in the time of the Mesozoic era. So uh, we're not, not going to give too much information about a lot of these dinosaurs because a lot of them are in, in this episode are actually going to get a special episode at some point in time. So just uh, let you guys know about that. But anyway, let's actually get started here. So we'll actually go through the Jurassic and the Cretaceous because there has been no Triassic dinosaurs found in Madagascar just yet. So let's actually get started with the Jurassic period. So this is the oldest period in the Mesozoic era in Madagascar. So the first dinosaur we'll talk about today is Leparantosaurus. And Leparantosaurus lived 170, 167 million years ago, excuse me, 167 million years ago. And, uh, and so it's a medium sized uh, sauropod. And uh, you can see on the skeleton or the picture on the left is that this is this is a less than 50% uh, complete dinosaur, so not that much of the skull, uh, a little bit of the neck vertebrae, uh, not too much of the back vertebrae, uh, a little bit of tail vertebrae, but you have complete hips and hind limbs, a complete shoulder blade, and complete uh, front limbs. And so the size chart right here you can actually see here on the right is how big uh, Leparantosaurus is, and it's a really nice looking sauropod right there. The next dinosaur is Archaeodontosaurus, and the only thing that is actually found of Archaeodontosaurus is teeth. And Archaeodontosaurus lived 167 to 164 million years ago, and so not a lot of information is, is on this dinosaur, but hopefully that uh, more bones will actually be discovered for Archaeodontosaurus. Now we move on to the Cretaceous period, so this is where majority of a lot of dinosaurs uh, from Madagascar are actually going to be found. So, like, so the Jurassic doesn't have that many. So we'll actually get started with the Cretaceous. First dinosaur in the Cretaceous is the Holoki. And the, the Holoki is a Abelosaur, and that dinosaur lived 94 to 89 million years ago. I don't have any pictures of like of like a skeleton uh, that I could find. So this was actually the only image I could find of. The whole Loki. Locally, locally. Loki, excuse me. <laughs> I keep getting this name wrong. So the so this dinosaur is a medium sized uh, theropod an abelosaur. And uh, there's an abelosaur that is coming up right after this. And this abelosaur is Majungasaurus. And Majungasaurus is the most famous dinosaur from Madagascar. And there's multiple there's a few there's more specimens of these guys now, and we're finding more of these guys uh, in uh, Madagascar, so that's pretty neat. So this is, and there's a nearly complete skeleton of of Majungasaurus, and the skull is actually the most impressive part right there, and it's also the most known part of Majungasaurus, even the arms. And this is uh, a depiction of what Majungasaurus probably looked like. And so the arms are kind of pre pretty hard to spot in this picture. Next dinosaur is Mashikasaurus, and Mashikasaurus lived 70 to 66 million years ago. Same as Majungasaurus. I'm sorry, I didn't get to Majungasaurus. Uh, Majungasaurus lived uh, 70 to 66 million years ago. So Mashikasaurus lived at the same time, 70 to 66 million years ago. And uh, there's a nearly complete skeleton, and so you actually see the the jawline of this animal is really weird. And so you got teeth kind of pointing outward in the front of the jaw, and you got teeth in the front of the jaw in the front part of the skull. Uh, kind of pointing outward as well, so this guy would eat fish, and so and here's uh, an artist's depiction of what Mashikasaurus probably looked like. Next dinosaur is Rahon Navis. Rahon Navis. Uh, that dinosaur lived 70 to 66 million years ago, and uh, this is a skeleton on there, but it's a nearly complete skeleton. The skull is not, the. there's only the back of the skull that's actually been found, the front of the skull has not been found. So this is an artist depiction of what Rahon Navis actually looks like. Very small dinosaur related to all the raptor dinosaurs of Dromaeosaurus. Next dinosaur is Repetosaurus. Repetosaurus lived 70 to 66 million years ago. And uh, the size chart right here, you can see how 
big uh, Repetosaurus is, it's a Saltosaurus, so the same thing as Saltosaurus uh, from Argentina. But, uh, this dinosaur is not as large as Saltosaurus, so this is kind of like a, a medium-sized uh, sauropod. And uh, this skeleton right here on the right, this is probably a juvenile. And so, yeah, so this is possibly a juvenile uh, Repetosaurus uh, skeleton. Then the next dinosaur is Verona, and Verona is a type of bird, and then you can call it a dinosaur if you want to as well. So Verona uh, lived 70 to 66 million years ago, but uh, we don't have any pictures of the bones. So this is the artist rendition of what Verona actually looked like. So Verona is a type of uh, bird, and it is also a dinosaur, which I which I consider as a dinosaur. So. Birds are technically dinosaurs. Now I want to know for you guys, what is your favorite dinosaur from Madagascar? So let me know in the comments down below this video and just uh, let me know. The next episode is on December 4th, 2020, and there'll be a special episode, so stay tuned for that, and I'll let you guys know what prehistoric animal I'm going to talk about. And uh, if you want to, and you can still send me questions. Uh, about dinosaurs or any other prehistoric life by emailing me at dinochris71 at gmail.com or just go on my Facebook page, Prehistoric Facts of Dino Chris. Like the page, you should post your questions on the in the comments section, not on Messenger. Messenger is only for private conversations, so make sure you put your questions in the comments section. And for you YouTubers out there, feel free to like the videos, subscribe, and stomp on that bell so that way you can get notified of, of a, every weekly video. And uh, you can put your questions in the comments section too. And uh, feel free to Put, is, put your questions in the comment section and I do read them all and you can get a shout out and, and you guys will get a shout out on in a Q&A episode. And remember, keep your questions short to the point. You can follow me on Instagram at dino.chris.pf and I'll be doing a live stream uh, uh, next week. Uh, so, you know, just be ask me anything type of, uh, type of uh, live chat and uh, so yeah, go ahead and follow me on Instagram, and uh, yeah, I think next week Saturday we'll actually do a live stream on Instagram, and you can ask me anything about movies, uh, television, music, uh, sports, I mean anything you like, but no politics, and let's be respectful too on the comment section. So let's actually chat for a little bit next week, so why not Why not do that? And, uh, and also you can follow me on Twitter, at C-S-G-R-A-L-L, -L. it's my Twitter page, I post pretty cool stuff on there. Also, take care of the people around you, and also for you younger people out there, and it makes you listen to your parents, your teachers, and your guardians. It's the best motivation you can have a good education. It's very important to have a good education, so with a good education, you get a good job in the future. And make sure you guys are wearing a mask, socially distancing, and wash your hands, because we want to reduce the spread of the virus. In this kind of time, we need to practice those things. And also, be sure to check out Colossal Fossils. Uh, and I'll put the link in the description down below so you guys can check out Colossal Fossils. That's it for now, and I'll see you guys next time.